the clouded leopard. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. Oh, this? This is a windsock for our garden. We can use it to see the speed and direction of the wind. See? Now I just need to find a good place to hang it. Why don't we look for it together? Let's go. I see a good spot up ahead. Let's try to hang it there. Huh? Hey, that's my windsock. I think it's some kind of cat. And look at those spots on its fur. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still, little cat. Katie, are you there? We found a spotted cat in the garden that can climb trees really well. Hi, Leo. I've received the photo. That sure is a nice looking cat. Can you find more information about it? Leave it to me. Great. And coming up, Hero, you stay here with our new friend. I'll be right back. <coughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything about the cat? Hi, Leo. It seems that the cat you found is a clouded leopard. It's a cub, which means that it's still a baby. A clouded leopard cub? The clouded leopard gets its name from the special cloud-like spots on its fur. These spots serve as camouflage so they can hide in the trees. I see. We saw it can climb trees very well. Clouded leopards are arboreal animals which means they mostly live in trees. That's why they have large paws and sharp claws that help them climb. I see. Their flexible short legs and long tail help them balance in the trees. Clouded leopards are one of the best tree climbers of all the big cats. That's amazing. What kind of food do they eat? Clouded leopards are carnivores. This means they eat other animals like birds, deer, and pigs. Clouded leopards live in different countries in Southeast Asia. The one you found comes from this place. I think we should return the cub to its mother since it still needs to learn how to hunt. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Welcome to the rainforest, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you've brought a rare friend with you today. Why is it rare, Ranger Rocky? Clouded leopards are rare because not many of them are left in the wild, and they are in danger of disappearing forever. That's terrible. Why are they in danger of disappearing forever? They are endangered because their homes in the forest are cut down for human use. They are also hunted for their patterned fur. You should look for the cub's mother. She can keep it safe. Look for tall trees with lots of shade. That's where the clouded leopard hides. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here are some short trees. And on this side are a lot of tall trees with leaves and shade. Do you know where we should go? Over there are some short trees. And over there are a lot of tall trees with shade. So where should we go? There, 
That's right. We need to go to a place with lots of tall trees with shade because clouded leopards prefer to hide in them. Let's go. It looks like we have to cross the river to get to those trees. Look at those water lilies. They are so big. The jeep won't go any further. They are blocking the way. <coughs> oh no! The cub is going after that butterfly. We have to catch up before it gets lost. But how can we move forward? <coughs> Look, Leo. Up by those trees. The cub! We have to save it, but we can't get there. This should work. Let's go. Great idea, Katie. Let's save the cub. What to do? I'll take this. Great, Leo. Just in time. What should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. If you want to find the clouded leopard's mother, just look for rustling leaves. Not for naughty thieves or buzzing bees, but look for rustling leaves. I see. So not for naughty thieves or buzzing bees, but, but look, look for, for rustling, rustling leaves. leaves. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the mother of the clouded leopard cub, you have to look for rustling leaves. Good luck. Okay, Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be its mother. Did you hear that? Could it be the cub's mother? Hmm. This animal has stripes on its fur. It's a tiger. Let's continue. Did you hear some rustling leaves? Can it be the cub's mother? Yikes, that's a snake. Better keep looking. Is that the cub's mother? It has the same cloud-like spots. It must be the clouded leopard's mother. Great work, Hero. We're coming over. We did it. We found the clouded leopard's mother. Great work, everyone. Yay! Hooray! a clouded leopard cub in our garden. We learned that the clouded leopard is an endangered species and that it spends most of its time in trees. So we went to the rainforest and brought it back home to its mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. The Plantain Squirrel. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Oh, this is my collection of seeds. Seeds come from plants, and they make the same plants. 
Seeds come in many different shapes, colors, and sizes. I want to sort all of them into these bowls. The small ones go here, the long ones go here, and the big ones go into the last bowl. Hey, are you eating my seed collection? Hmm, I think it's a squirrel, but it sounds like a little bird. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. Are you there? I think we found a squirrel in the garden. It sounds like a bird. Hi, Leo. What a cute little squirrel. The sound it makes is called chittering. So, a squirrel chitters. Can you find more information about it? Of course I can. Great. And coming up. Hero, you stay here with our new friend. I'll be right back. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? Hi, Leo. I sure did. It seems that the squirrel you found is a plantain squirrel. Plantain squirrels live in trees and they belong to a group of squirrels called tree squirrels. As a tree squirrel, the plantain squirrel is a very good climber. Its curved claws provide a good grip when it climbs trees. It uses its long and bushy tail for balance when it jumps from place to place. The tail of our squirrel doesn't look very long and bushy. That's because it's very young. It's only around five to six weeks old. Baby squirrels at this stage are around half the size of an adult squirrel. I see. So what kind of food do plantain squirrels eat? Normally, plantain squirrels eat fruits, seeds, insects, and sometimes even bird eggs. But since the squirrel you found is still a baby, it needs to feed on its mother's milk to grow into a strong adult squirrel. Plantain squirrels live in different countries in Southeast Asia. The one you found comes from this place. Then let's go there and return the baby squirrel to its nest and mother, since it still needs proper care and food. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn One, two, off we go For lots of fun and lots to learn Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Welcome to the forest, Junior Rangers Ah, I see you've brought along a young plantain squirrel with you today The plantain squirrel is very quick and agile in trees they are able to jump a few meters between trees, and they rarely wander on the ground. It likes to stay on my hat. Hey, the baby squirrel's gone. There it is. It's eating the tree bark. Actually, the young plantain squirrel is chewing the tree bark. Chewing bark and twigs helps the squirrel to sharpen its teeth. Normally, baby squirrels use the bark and twigs from their nest. So I guess this young squirrel really needs to get back to its home. But where can we find its nest? Plantain squirrels' nests can be found in the crooks or hollows of tall and leafy trees. So they are in high, safe places that are away from predators on the ground. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here are some short trees without leaves. And on this side are a lot of tall and leafy trees. Do you know where we should go? Over there are some short trees without leaves. And over there are a lot of tall and leafy trees. So where should we go? There? That's right! We need to go there because plantain squirrels like to build their nests high up in the tall leafy trees where it's safe. Let's go! 
What do you see, Leo? There's a nest up in that tree. Maybe it belongs to the baby squirrel's family. Come on, everybody. Let's have a look. It doesn't seem very friendly. It's flicking its tail and chittering very loudly. It's trying to scare us away. This nest must belong to that squirrel. I guess we should keep looking. Don't worry, little friend. We'll make sure we find your home. Another nest. Maybe this is its home. Oh no! We have to save it! I can't climb this tree. I'll use my propeller. No, Leo. The propeller might hit the squirrel. Use your jetpack instead. You're right, Katie. Here I go. Oh no! It's too late! Whoa! That was amazing, baby squirrel! That was exciting! I guess we better go somewhere else. So what should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers! Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! If you want to find the baby squirrel's home, just look for a chittering nest. Not for a treasure chest or a colorful vest, but look for a chittering nest. I see. So not for a treasure chest or a colorful vest, but, but look, look for, for a, a chittering, chittering nest. nest. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the baby squirrel's home, you have to look for a chittering nest. Good luck! Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be the plantain squirrel's home. Could that be the baby squirrel's home? Hmm, that doesn't sound like chittering. And the plantain squirrel nests are up in the trees, not in the ground. Let's continue. Is that the baby squirrel's home? Hmm, it sounds like chittering. Oh wait, that's a bird's nest. Let's look somewhere else. Is that the baby squirrel's home? There's a chittering sound coming from inside the nest. Look, there's the mother squirrel. Great work, Hero. We're coming over. Goodbye, little friend. We did it. We found the baby squirrel's home. Great job, everyone. Hooray! Yay! We found a baby plantain squirrel in our garden. We learned that plantain squirrels sound like birds when they chitter and that they are amazing tree climbers. So we went to the forest and brought it back home to its nest. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Whee! Faster, faster! <laughs> is flying higher than yours, Katie. Not anymore, Leo. We'll see about that. Oops. Oh, no. <sighs> there it goes. 
Hi, Junior Ranger Zari. What's up? Hi, Leo. I found a baby bird. Its nest fell out of a tree, but I can't put it back. Do you know what type of bird it is? I'm not sure, Zari. Let's find out more about it on the computer. Here, Hero. Enjoy flying that kite, Hero. Let's see what type of bird this is. It's a black mate Oreo. They're one of the most common bird species in Singapore. The adults have black bands around their eyes that stretch to the backs of their necks. Both males and females have golden yellow bodies, yellow black wings, red irises, and deep pinkish bills. The upper bodies of the females have more yellowish green parts than the males. Baby black nate orioles have dark colored bills and irises. They have less or no colored streaks on their chests. And lastly, Orioles feed on fruits and insects. Oh, so you like fruits and insects? <gasps> oh no! The car is gone! I put the baby Oriole on top of a car to keep it safe! So now the bird's gone too? We'll come over. Ranger out. Let's go find the missing baby Oriole. See you downstairs. Ranger Leo all set. Woohoo! <laughs> Junior Rangers to the rescue! Platypus One, activate! Here, Here we, go. we go! Let's hurry over to Zari! <laughs> Where are you, baby Oreo? Hi, Zari! Hi, Leo. Hi, Katie. No sign of the baby Oriole yet. Don't worry. I'm sure I'll find it soon. Let's split up. We'll look for it from the air while you continue looking down here. Got it. Jetpack, Jetpack activate. activate. Have you found it, Leo? No, but I'll keep looking. Any luck finding the baby Oriole, Katie? Not yet. Hello, Junior Ranger Leo. Ranger Rocky, what are you doing here? I've been busy monitoring the wind patterns used by migrating birds. How about you? A car drove away with a baby black naked Oriole. We're trying to find it. I saw its parents chasing some crows, but I don't know where they are now. Black naked Orioles are known to chase other types of birds when protecting their young. Sometimes they chase each other too. But they're not always so fierce. It's common to see high-speed chases in the air when the males are trying to make friends with the females. I hope we find the baby Oriole soon. I'll help with the search. Thanks, Ranger Rocky. Jetpack, Jetpack activate. activate! Where are you, baby Oriole? Aha! Found you! Oh no! The crows are back! Don't worry, we'll protect the baby. Shoo! Leave them alone! Let's get this nest back where it belongs. Grass? Roots? This must be where the nest fell from. There, you'll be safe here. Uh-oh! I've got you. We need to find a safer place to put the nest where the wind isn't so strong. Oh, let's use this pinwheel to check for a place with less wind. Great idea, Zari. No, too fast. What about here? There's hardly any wind. The nest should be safe there. Now look, it's too close to the ground. How about this branch? Not too low and not too high. The wind here isn't too strong. It's perfect. There you go. Now you're safe. Good work, Junior Rangers. <sighs> Not me. I left the nest in the car and put the baby Oriole in danger. Everyone makes mistakes, Zari. Just learn from them and try better next time. What should I do if I find another baby bird that's all on its own? My friend Ranger Kalai can tell us more about that. Let's call him. Hello, Ranger Kalai. Hi, Ranger Rocky. Hi, Junior Rangers. Hi, Ranger Kalai. 
Can you tell us what we should do if we find a lost baby bird? Sure, Zari. Baby birds is something that the Acres Wildlife Rescue teams deal with on a daily basis. Now that you've found a baby bird, find a safe place to leave it first. The second objective will be to try and locate the nest. Black-nipped orioles in particular tend to build their nests quite high up, so you've got to really look up into the trees. You can also look out for their calls uh, of the parents as well. Remember, do not bring the baby bird to a different location. The nest should be very near to where you found the baby bird. In the event that you cannot locate the actual nest or that the nest is too high up, don't worry, there is another way. You can do what we call a makeshift nest. Any basket or even a cardboard box. It is just any structure that looks like a nest and that will be the baby bird's new nest. Now that you have found the mother bird, put this new makeshift nest as high as you can on the tree. Remember, do not bring the baby birds home. They will start to think that you are its parents and their chances of being released back into the wild will drop dramatically. The best thing to always do is to try and reunite them with their parents because the chances of survival is highest with their parents. Wow! Thanks for sharing all these tips with us, Ranger Kalai. Happy to help! Ranger out! Ranger out! The parents are back! That's great! Mission accomplished! I'm glad we managed to return the baby black-naped Oriole to its parents. Hero, what's he up to? You found my kite! Thanks, Hero. Can you bring it up here, please? Huh? Come back, Hero. Ha ha! My kite is definitely higher than yours now. Not fair! Hero, give me back my kite! Good job, children. You are amazing wildlife rangers. 